I'm now coming to show you a game that I've played against somebody who I've been talking to for probably over 10 years on and off on Skype. Okay, they begged me to do a video of me playing them, so here goes. Okay, um, now basically, um, this has an unusual ending, you'll understand why when you see it. Okay. Now, I started with my standard opening of trying to move the um, king rook pawn up. They didn't take it. Both of us are moving the knights out. I'm threatening the queen here. I move the queen out of the way. I threaten to their um, queen with my knight they take my knight I take their knight so that is a knight exchange they move their rook out the way I threaten their bishop they move their queen I move the king so I'm a bit worried about what might happen they take my bishop, that may have been a blunder by me, I'm not sure. I then took their bishop. They took... Now I'm... In check. There is now... Um, I'm putting check again. And I'll take their pawn. They take all my pawns. I move the bishop out of the way. They um, move their knight. I can't at this point take. Now, at this point, I didn't realise it the first time around, but the computer is indicating that my opponent, Black, had checkmate at this point, or so not immediate checkmate, but I believe mate in two. And I didn't see it at the time. Um, I'm going to show you how they could have done it. This is not what they did, but what they could have done. Okay? What they could have done is sacrificed their um, knight. There is then only one legal move that White could do, which is to take the um, knight. That seems like a stupid move to allow for Black, but when you consider, and all Black has to do now is move a pawn, and now it's checkmate. But that wasn't what they did. Instead, this is what they actually did. They moved their knight out of the way because they didn't actually want to lose their knight, even though losing their knight would have been the best thing they could have done. But they didn't see it at the time, and nor did I. Then... At this point, apparently they have checkmate again, it looks like, according to the system, but I, well, I can't see it at the moment. But anyway, I'm just going to carry on showing you what... Um, how is that possible? Uh, yeah. So I believe I could have got checkmate. I have to check this. Um, Yep, that would have been checkmate. So if they'd have done that, they would have got checkmate. But again, they didn't. I'm just going to. This is what they actually did instead. They moved um, their queen here. I took the pawn, and the game carried on for quite some time. 
a lot of this isn't too eventful. Um, I took my rook. I took that bishop. They um, wanted a offered a queen exchange, which I took. Practically all the pieces get taken off the board at some point. We're left with only pawns, but you won't see that at the moment. I did this because I wanted to move out of the way so I could start taking a few things. In a moment they will lose their rook, but I want to see what would happen if instead I promoted to a knight, because a knight's not considered valuable as a queen, so I thought would they actually be willing to lose their um, rook in return for um, gaining a, a knight rather than the queen. Yes, they still did it anyway, so now it, we're left with a pawn end game. Now, for some reason, they decided to um, promote to a knight. I can't realistically stop them um, promoting a pawn. And for some reason, they wanted to promote it to a bishop. They probably wanted to see if they could get a very good checkmate using just a bishop and a knight. Now, the only thing I can do is get a draw. Um, one way of doing that I thought might be to simply run the clock down. So I tried to move quite quickly, any move, just to try and run the clock down if I could. It doesn't get too interesting at this point really, most it's just a lot of movements for the sake of movements. I don't know why I did, that was a blunder by me, but I was trying to move very quickly. I, oh no, I couldn't take it anyway, so. Because the bishop was stopping me, so a lot of this is just. But this is where it's going to start getting more interesting soon. And I wasn't even trying to do what I was doing and neither were they. They had the possibility to get checkmate if they'd um, tried hard enough. So I'm going to go back because I went forward too much. Okay. Check. I moved out of the way. And now this is my where they made their terrible blunder. And it isn't even obvious why. See, even I missed this and I was shocked when it happened. It actually triggered a draw. And it triggered a draw of repeat by repetition and I wasn't even trying to do it. If you look, it doesn't seem to be the standard repetition. There, yes, I move that back. But because that exact position had been in the game three times, at any point in the game, it meant it was a draw by repetition. So basically, I sort of won by getting a draw, because the draw was the best I could get from that position. But even I didn't expect it. I wasn't trying to get a draw by repetition. 
I'm sure my opponent wasn't probably trying to get a draw by repetition either. It's not an obvious draw by repetition and a very unusual ending to a chess game. And because the ending is quite unusual in that um, my opponent promoted to a knight and a bishop and I promoted to a knight and it ended in a um, draw by repetition, even though the draw by repetition wasn't obvious, um, I thought it was worth noting and showing you guys, okay? And specifically, they requested that I do a video on one of their games. So I have done that, okay? I hope you're happy, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!